Hey guys, how are you all doing? Uh, so I'm gonna make a sheet today for my custom BK7 and I figure a lot of people in the past they ask me about doing the video for the Kydex sheet making and I figure it's a pretty good uh, time to do the video and uh, the idea for this one will be I wanna make the Kydex sheet when the bottom of the kydex will slide into this little the rest of the pouch, the rest of the original sheet and then with the with the Chicago screws a couple of the rivets I will attach to the original nylon webbing the Cordura webbing, probably six screws and the six rivets here on all the way to the, the as close to the edge I can and uh, you know it will end here and we're gonna use the, the original snap tool if we ever need to. It, it won't be needed because my case will have a good retention but sometimes the, the, the double security is not bad. So this way I will have the nice you know the base for the sheet with the nice two holes for the for the leg strap and the nice belt loop with the possible molly attachment here as well. So that might work pretty well. It definitely will be interesting. It will be first of that kind. And what we are using, we're using that, uh, I think it's uh, called uh, 0 0.08 Kydex sheet, you know, regular black. And uh, these are the CKK rivets from uh, knifekits.com. Uh, they are made for the for this, uh, this thickness of the Kydex. And uh, they are quarter inch, uh, you know, the thickness is the diameter. So you're drilling the holes with the quarter inch drill bit, put this guy in and then I'm using, I actually went ahead and bought the middle of this, one of these better setters. This is originally made for the press, for those you know fancy uh, kydex sheet making presses. But uh, this works very well with just the hammer. So you know, you put it on something, something sturdy and strong, the base, set the stuff in like this sheet will slide onto it, put this guy on, whack it with the hand and it rolls the it rolls the rivet really nice you'll see in the video. So let me get going here. First thing uh, it's gonna be a couple clips and I'll put them together because I will have to move move away but first thing what we wanna do here is you know make some kind of sketch for the basic basic cutout of the kydex so we're gonna have all the way from the bottom let's make it a little bigger that's gonna get grinded off let's make it all the way up to here so this will be my first thing and I will have to double this this is for three and a half let's make seven seven I don't know if you can see it, how well is this working out. Uh, Kydex is pretty easy to work with. You know? Let's see if I can do it with my Vijidashi, my very own one. <laughs> yes, I do have my own too. <laughs> Kydex is pretty much make you can just make the basic cut long ways and then as you bend it once you you know break that break that surface you can break it off and then just fi finish the cut from the other side you know, can never go wrong with that doing it that way so here we have the two shades there we go like this no that will be the kydex sheet itself. Now what we want to do is we want to put the knife into the position where it will be. Like this is this is probably what I'm looking for, right? This this kind of dimension. And what you want to do is you want to actually try to be the rivets to be one and a half inch apart because one and a half inch is the dimension of the of the tech lock so what I'm gonna do is first two I'm gonna put down here one and a half inch apart so that's gonna be my first two holes and from here 
from this base first two basic main holes I will keep going one and a half inch you know copying the blade when you, blade once shape. you have this you want to make sure that they are nice and straight you know in some somewhat of a line you would you would desire and they pretty much are you know nice curve one curve another curve and once you're done with this now I'm gonna proceed I'm gonna drill these two holes the bottom ones to keep it together maybe bottom four holes and I'll cut the clip and uh, I'll show you you know uh, as I'm doing the first rivets alright guys so as you can see I clamp the two sheets together to keep them in perfect you know position so they don't move at me as I drill one hole and you know then drilling the others clamp them together drill the four holes now what we're gonna do is take it apart make sure you have no shavings from the drilling on the inside like you see here I'm gonna get rid of them you don't have to go super neat you just have to make sure that there is nothing no, no real debris in between this pretty much just breaks off this plastic because once you drill it it's kinda like melted so you can just pretty much break it off and the next step will be I'll re I put the, the rivets, you know, rivets, grommets, there's so many names for these things. Uh, I'll put them together, here you see, slip them on. Now put the base, the bottom piece, the one with the pin goes on top. You know, try to keep it as level as possible. try to do it just one little to get it and then try to do one one or two nice big big bangs <laughs> big hits you know try to not hit your fingers and here you can see this is the original side the good one and here's the here's the raw side so you see that this one actually works really well you know, uh, even the the cheaper the ten dollar handset, it works, but it's uh, trust me, it's nothing close to this. I had it, that's what I started with. It will do the job done, you know. But me, since it's for trying to, uh, once in a while I'll do the shit for somebody. You know, somebody orders a shit from me, so I had to invest. It's like thirty five bucks. Now I will go ahead. I'll heat up the Kydex, and I'll show you, show you how. Am I pressing it? You know, in my homemade press. My homemade press is this. This is the foam, the original foam for the for the Kydex making. It's like a term, something that doesn't melt at the temperatures you you use the Kydex with. I put the cloth there just to you know keep from uh, melting the foam, just in case I would overheat the rivets or something. Once I heat it up, put the blade in, I close this thing with the blade in the middle and press it with the press it with the clamps. You know, uh, there's a lot of different ways how to heat up the Kydex. Uh, you can do it in your microwave, there are special ovens. Probably the best way is with the heat gun, I think, the most convenient way. Uh, I don't have a heat gun, I didn't buy one myself yet. Uh, this works just perfect for me. You know, ventilate the room, be careful with the fire, and uh, you can do it same. I, when I sat there, I was doing it on the regular kitchen oven. You know, you just take your time, don't get it too close to the fire so it doesn't burn. Burn, keep spinning it, heat it up evenly, and uh, in a couple of minutes, and you get the skylight is nice and soft. You you position your blade the way you want to the press. And uh, close it as tight as you can get it. You now, when I was starting with this, I was actually using uh, just a couple layers of paper towel between the two two books, and <laughs> it worked just as well. So, you know, uh, I would guess this. I would say this is one of those things where 
imaginations are your limits. You can, you know, you can improvise a lot with this stuff. You know, some of the bigger knives I have to do two, three times in the press because I don't get the whole thing nice and even the way I would like to. But uh, overall, it's not that bad. It's still fairly simple method. You can see how the kydex is bending already, it's getting softer and softer. A couple more seconds, and I'll go for it. See, I position my blade, I try to feel for the tip, position it into the press, I try to do it quick. sitting like this for a little bit check on it in maybe like five ten minutes when it cools down and uh, you know you see okay you guys so uh, actually like I said I had to do it a couple times two times you know first mold the back portion of the sheet and then the front but as you can see you have a nice out outline of the blade on both sides nice equally it's it's pretty much straight almost uh, now Look, I have a really weak retention now, and I don't like that, so what I can do, I still didn't do the last rivets. And uh, I already tested with the clamps, I just put the clamps here, and see, you know, keep moving them, and see where I want to put my last, rivet, uh, my last rivets to get the, you know, desired retention. So I'm actually gonna move the, put one more rivets somewhere around here, like really close to the top two, and get the desired retention. And then all it comes is sending down the edges, you know, really nice, close to the rivets, shaping down here, going a little bit to the, doing that curve, copying, same here, up here, and also here. I'm gonna copy this a little bit, you know, make it nice and pretty, same here, so I'll see you in a few, uh, the final product. Alright guys, so here's the done product, the finished product. I managed to get it under the... Cordura webbing, Cordura backing or whatever you know, my tie strap is here and uh, you know, I pretty much with the sharp sharp thing, metal thing, heat it up on a flame, push through, wheel it to get the Chicago screws in through and you know it came out nice along the sides so that's pretty good. I, did, I ended up moving it down all the way to the down to get it as low as possible so the handle doesn't stick to my sides when I have it on the belt, you see here's the belt I like it lower, you know, like a kind of drop leg platform I get nicer tension and I like a little tighter but you know I can always loosen it up if I really want to it works and it will ride out ride, uh, you know, it will work out easier and easier as the time goes but I think it's pretty nice tell me what you think guys